forecast so you'll know first this is first alert weather scary oh, yeah, scary video there. yeah i know and to think serious. how cold oh. yeah. Yeah. Well, we dealt with some snow this morning, and it sounds like we're going to deal with it again yet this week. Uh, you know, yeah, you're right. We had some flurries this morning. Uh, it was windy. Really felt like January out there. We have another system coming in as we go through our day on Saturday into early Sunday. So that's our next system that we're going to be monitoring for you. And of course, this area you see behind me here, Arrowhead Stadium, is going to be rocking on Saturday. So we are watching that timeline very carefully. For now, 36 degrees. Cloudy, windy. We have a west northwest wind at 13 miles an hour. It's still gusting up near 22 miles an hour. And when you're down in the 30s, you have to talk about a wind chill, and I'll show you those numbers here in just a moment. The actual air temperatures 35 in downtown Kansas City. Same for Overland Park and Olathe. 35 in Parkville, 34 degrees for Lee Summit. Liberty at 34. Those clouds are keeping our temperatures relatively uniform. So you can see Trenton right at freezing. You go all the way to the south towards Butler and Clinton, 37 degrees. Lacine at 38. So not much of a range in temperature out there. We all have that breeze, so we all have to talk about the wind chill. Feels like the middle to upper 20s for most cases. So winter coat weather all day long, winter coat weather for your evening as well. Our temperatures will slowly come down. The clouds are going to linger at least for several more hours. We might start to see some of that clearing later on this evening. You see those wind chill numbers there in blue. It'll feel like lower 20s, eventually upper teens by the late evening, and our temperatures get down to below freezing late this evening as well. And that wind is not really going to die down. It's going to hang out between about 15 and 20 miles an hour. Overnight heading into early Friday, we'll have lows in the middle 20s. Still a little bit of a breeze. That northwest wind at 10 to 15. From there, going through Friday, the wind will ease up a little bit more. 5 to 10 out of the northwest, and our temperatures get a little bit warmer. Lower 40s tomorrow, so relatively close to where we should be for this time of year. Tomorrow, quiet weather. Saturday, that's when our next system comes in. Let's go through that timeline. This is Saturday, 7 a.m., so I think we'll start off the day dry. If you're doing some tailgating, I think even the tailgating looks dry, but more so after noon, after midday, I think our air will be a little dry. So even though the radar might see some of that rain or snow up in the sky, some of that will evaporate on the way down to the ground. But in time for kickoff on Saturday, a rain-snow mix uh, will likely start pushing in. We'll see more of that heading through the afternoon. That continues into the evening. I think more so transitioning to mainly snow for our evening hours into our Saturday night. Now, this is not a very well organized system. It won't have a lot of cold air to work with. In fact, for most of this, our temperatures will be above freezing. So in general, snow accumulations less than an inch, I'd say for the metro and areas southward, possibly one to two Chillicothe, Cameron, St. Joseph up toward Maryville. So not a big snow, but We'll be monitoring those road conditions Saturday evening into Saturday night. Chiefs forecast temperatures in the 30s, so we're those red layers. Notice the chances of rain and snow increase as we head through the game, heading home. Light snow temperatures just above that freezing mark. Nine day forecast staying chilly into next week. Highs in the 30s. We'll see some additional chances for rain and snow next Tuesday and Wednesday. Still some clouds overhead, a little bit of sunshine right now. Let's get another update from News Chopper 9's Johnny Rollins.